I, for one, am grateful we have an independent judicial system where a president's son or a former president like Trump can be investigated and prosecuted if they violate the law. It is my firm belief that Hunter and Trump should both face trial and if guilty, be held accountable for the crimes they've been accused of. Mm. Can everyone on the oversight committee say the same thing? Well, members of the oversight committee, please raise your hand if you believe both Hunter and Trump should be held accountable for any of the indictments against them if convicted by a jury of their peers. We can take a minute. <laughs> no, it's, it's serious. This is a serious matter. If y'all need to think about it, we can take a moment and think about it. It is serious. This is very serious. Think well, about the, it. Should both Hunter and well, Trump the be a held accountable? I want to see whether you'd raise your hand. Should Hunter and Trump both be held accountable if they are found guilty on any of their indictments? Raise your hand if you think that equal justice under the law applies and if Trump should be held accountable. I think it is worse than embarrassing that Republicans won't raise their hands. They refuse to say that equal justice under the law should apply to everyone. And when you step back and think about then it, what about it's the kind January 6th defendant? It's Chairman, kind of, point of scary. Order. This double standard insults the institutions of Congress that people fought and died to build. This impeachment hearing clearly is not about justice. We cannot say equal justice under the law for everyone except for the guy who holds the leash.